Greetings all you aspiring school board members, small business owners, and other folks who want to improve your language skills. Let's work through one simple exercise to improve your ability to read effectively. If you want to skip my intro and go straight to a quick and dirty review of verbs and subjects, go here. And if you want to skip that review and get right to the exercise, go here. I teach English to adult native speakers whose language skills are lagging because their professional success has outstripped their formal education. And one language task, reading efficiently, is mostly a matter of mastering subjects and verbs. So quick and dirty review, the subject is the who or what we're talking about, and the verb is the action that they're doing or the state that they're in. For instance, dogs eat. Subject, verb. Dogs are loyal. Subject, verb. And there could be an object. For instance, what do dogs eat? Dogs eat anything. Yes, anything can be an object. Subject, verb, object. So here we are with an article on best paying cities for working seniors. Let's find the subject and verb in this sentence. Beyond inflation, however, seniors need more money than ever to live comfortably in retirement. Now, there are several who's and what's in here. We've got inflation, seniors, money, retirement, and we've got several actions, need and live. So which ones are the main ones? Which one is the subject of this sentence and what is its verb? Well, first, is inflation doing? anything in this sentence? Is it performing any action? No. Seniors, however. Seniors need. What do they need? Uh, they need more money than ever in order to live comfortably in retirement. And we can pare that down. Seniors need money. Subject, verb, object. But what are these other pieces of this sentence, you might wonder? Well, this beyond is a kind of a setup. It's to tell you that we've already covered this topic and we're going to go on. Beyond inflation, which we've already talked about, seniors need more money. Money for what? What kind of money? How much money? What well, money to live comfortably in retirement. So this money to live comfortably in retirement describes the money. The, the money is not living comfortably in retirement, seniors are. So there's our sentence boiled down to its bones. Seniors need money, subject, verb, object. Being able to quickly and accurately pick out subjects and verbs can simplify and clarify the task of reading. You might need to get through an article, an argument, a request. Let's, uh, let's blitz through these other couple of paragraphs. And I do mean blitz. If this goes too fast, just pause the video and, and see what I'm talking about. Okay, we already got that first sentence. Seniors need money. Expectancy has risen. Seniors face issues. Centers estimate. Uh, you know, what, by the way, what do they estimate? Well, they, this is what they estimate. All this. Per capita healthcare spending for seniors is nearly three times as high as that for the working age population. That is what centers estimate. That is the object. And yet we do inside this object have a whole subject verb going on. We have a sentence within a sentence, but it's not the main action. It's subordinate action. It tells us what the CMS estimates. And it's called a subordinate clause. You don't have to know that. I'm just telling you so that you understand it has its own job, which is to complete that verb, that main verb. So don't confuse it with the main action of the sentence. Let's go on. Okay, benefits changed. Changes led seniors. Employers moved. Try to read that way. Train your brain to grab subjects, verbs, and objects so you can study and read smarter, not harder.